Whether it's a security camera, body cam footage, or your phone, there's always a camera rolling capturing the craziest moments you could possibly imagine. So let's go and see what the internet's got for us this week. They're saying these are catastrophic failures. Let's go ahead and get the definition of catastrophic. Let me... Involving or causing sudden great damage or suffering. Perfect. Every year, the city of Ogden, Utah, holds an event to see whose truck can put out the most horsepower. It better be crazy. The truck better do, like, a backflip or some shit. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. The sounds would already have me worried. Oh, shit. You were in the truck still? This mother don't die, bro. What? By the way, these dudes are studs. It looked like they tried to jump in the vehicle towards the sounds of exploding diesel trucks. Rio Branco, Brazil is a large city in the Acre River Valley. It's home to about 419,000 people and one oblivious truck driver. One oblivious truck driver, huh? Okay. On January 21st of 2020, a police helicopter oh, God. was preparing for takeoff at a strategic location in the city center. There's no way a whole ass guy is not going to be paying attention to a whole ass helicopter in the middle of the street. If you don't see that shit, you're blind. Why is y'all like landing in the middle of the street though? Y'all know people retarded. Hurry up and take off, please. Just go, dude. Go. Get. Not the only, not the only big ass truck in the video. Boy, that escalated quickly. Oh my God, they just walk off the helicopter like nothing. They were just like, what the f man? 100% I would have got out of the vehicle, walking cane, sunglasses. I would have been like, I'm blind, my bad. I didn't mean to drive over here. Annie Village is a small Annie community in China. On August 24th of 2023, locals could only watch in horror as a landslide nearly took out the whole town. The town isn't even built. If we built our cities like this, I expect it to fall immediately, okay? It's like f***ing dominoes. This is f***ed up Jenga. Yeah, that's exactly why you don't build off cliffs and mountains. Oh my god. It's all going the whole shit. I mean, realistically, they probably only spent like $10 literally building all that because they're cheap as Oh my god, it's the whole mountain! The village was built at the base of a mountain with a long landslide history. Then why the f did you build there? I would like to build on that mountain over there. Why, sir? Because I want to Stop. Thankfully, the locals noticed cracks in the weeks leading up to the landslide. Oh, did you notice this giant crack in the foundation? The shit this fucking deep. Spazin is a small town in western Poland situated on the Orba River. Zimbabwe booty booty. CCTV footage shows him driving through the Polish backcountry with an excavator on his flatbed. As he goes around a bend, he comes in a bit Final too destination hot and wasn't able to dude. stop in time for a passing train. The high-speed train flies by. How are you not gassing it, bro? I'd be like, <laughs> like driving so fast. The train smashes the flatbed and spins it 90 degrees. Imagine being in one of those cars. Oh, I thought there was a guy in this thing. thing. I was like, yeah, he's Out dead. of the 150 people on board, only four were injured. How do y'all just escape death like this? It may sound negative coming out of my mouth, but it's a positive thing. How has nobody died? Nestled in the heart of Kazakhstan, Karaganda Kazakhstan. is a city steeped in a rich and intricate history. While once renowned for its coal mining industry, oh my the God, city that has looks undergone terrible. significant transformation. That in looks so decades. not the Fun. rapid influx oh of my population God. triggered a construction frenzy. Bro, y'all just build shit halfway and stop. We ran out of funding. Every time? On April 6th of 2012, one of these newly erected buildings suddenly crumbled. And at first glance, it could no shit. be mistaken for a scene from a CGI rendering. What? <gasps> nah, bro. No. no. That's like Hollywood, bro. It's like... There's like a camera crew and shit behind there. It's just a piece of cardboard. It's just a piece of cardboard. This is extra special effects, dude. The building had been tilting precariously, providing ample time for all 111 residents to evacuate. I imagine walking to your house and the shit is just like... That doesn't look correct. My name is Borat. My house will fall over. <laughs> it's nice. Muzaffarnagar is a small city in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. 
Because it's located in the middle of a highly fertile region, okay. it's among the state's most developed and prosperous cities. Nope, too close to Pakistan terrorist attack. A demolition crew arrived to remove a dilapidated bridge. A they dilapidated an bridge. To the middle and began what the hammering f away. does that mean? It seems like someone should have rethought. Like this a broken plan. one? What happened next shouldn't have surprised anybody. Let me guess. The bridge collapsed. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! How the f are you the only dude surviving? Oh my god, dude, you're stunned too! The crazy part is they're probably not even shocked. They're like, oh, we knew this was gonna happen. Whatever you do, bro, don't move. Don't even flex your ass, okay? According to reports, the driver was rescued later on. The bridge itself was a hundred years old. Tearing it down was part of a larger plan to widen the highway along the canal. Technically, it was a job well done. Typical Baltimore activities. You know, we see this every time. Landslides aren't the only natural disasters Southeast Asia. Landslides, has to worry bro. And maybe we stop Water building shit on the side of a mountain that is like straight. Take down. this sinkhole in Bangladesh, for example. Bangladesh. On November 19th of 2015. Is there just nothing here? See, that's cliff shit, bro. Why are we building shit on the edge of other shit? Thankfully, authorities noticed the signs and evacuated the home before it fell. Oh, oh! Oh, it's a river. Oh my God, imagine this happening at midnight. You're f dead, bro. That shit just got swallowed by the ocean. I would build an underground cave. That'd be so cool. Put a tarp on the outside of the house underwater. Fill it with air. You have a f air dome. Super villain behavior, bitch. Volgograd, Russia is a large city on the Volga River. Bro. Most people know it by its former name, Stalingrad. Bro, who the f cut this grass? You're fired. Only Rosie Never. O'Donnell. Y'all need a Mexican to cut that lawn today. Or any random man named Pablo. What happened next reminded people of the famous it's a lot of smoke. <gasps> Imagine watching this from a distance. I'd be like, well, not going that way. I would think an atomic bomb went off. The only 7-Eleven in Russia. God damn it! Varese, Italy is a small city near the Swiss okay, border. Okay, Italy. On May 9th of 2017, nice, a nice. large crawler crane moved into position at the Arcizate Stabio railway yard. Atashite Bedite Titty Titty Yard? What? This crane tipped over? How the f*** does this tip over? It's super wide. Nobody got hurt when the crane came crashing down. <gasps> oh, the front's lifting. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh I'm coming. Oh, f Oh, stop! Oh, someone say something! Oh, sh That crane does a lot of cocaine, guys, all right? We knew it was gonna happen. We knew he was gonna do some shit. The man escaping at the last second is the crane operator. <gasps> he dropped over 10 feet from the cab and ran for Bro his on life as the crane X toppled X Games mode, him. dude, I, I'm gonna be like, uh, workman's comp, workman's comp. Bangalore, India is the capital and largest Tetanus city shot. in the southern state of Karnataka. It has a serious problem with building collapses. Building collapse in India? Oh, no way, that's crazy. It's only like the fucking hundredth time. 40 people narrowly escaped a building on the verge of collapse. Why does this happen like this? If you guys think about it. Oh God, Christ. Buildings are not gonna stand forever, right? So what's gonna happen in New York and like San Francisco? All these places have giant skyscrapers that were built around the same time. There's no way you're gonna get to demo all of it at the same time and then rebuild it back up. The city of Bangalore is the capital of the Indian state of Karnataka. Again? It's if y'all plan on going to India, don't do it. A local noticed cracks forming in a three-story building sitting directly next to the giant hole. Let me guess, landslide. Big shock, bro. I'm not surprised anymore. Like, y'all just don't build shit right. They're like, um, let's put like 50% of the shit in there. Just build the walls, no inside. Y'all love wasting money. It's, it's crazy. It's fine though, guys. It was like a calling scam center, so...
Big props to the landslide. Thank you very much, sir. That's what you get for scam calling me every time, you bitch. Hala Airlines. No, is a no, I don't want to watch plane shit. I hate flying. Unless I can throw in a parachute and jump out of the plane, I don't want to go on it. Somali company with headquarters in Nairobi, Kenya. They began oh, in Kenya, no in this, bro. We know the pilot malnourished, man. A routine flight ended in dramatic fashion. CCTV cameras were rolling to capture the entire thing. A small plane carrying 30 passengers and four crew members landed on the runway in the Somalian capital of Mogadishu. Is this shit about to get hijacked by dudes on boats even though it's on a f***ing plane? Yeah, I don't know. You never know what's gonna happen. It seems like a routine landing, but then something goes horribly wrong. The plane veers off the runway oh, and we just crashes straight into the camera, bro. a reinforced fence. The cockpit suffered heavy damage. Hey, respect for staying destroyed. in the shot, though. By Dominic Toretto flying the plane. He said, it's all about family. <laughs>